Looks like a family of dwarf mongoose. Always wonderful to see the dwarf mongoose. Look at that. I think they are so cute. It's really, really always great to see them. You can often hear them scurrying through the grass. Unless they come out and sit in the open like that, it's quite difficult to see them at times. The wonderful thing with the dwarf mongoose, so it's the smallest mongoose species we have in Africa. But the wonderful thing with the dwarf mongoose is they're very curious at times. They'll come and have a look and see what you're doing and if you're a threat or any danger. And they, they tend to relax quite quickly around a vehicle. As I was saying with those lions, I'm, I've got a feeling they've got a kill in a drainage line somewhere, but we will have a look around and see if we, if we can't get any sign of them. Now don't forget everyone, we are completely live. For those of you new viewers, if you'd like to send us questions or comments, you can do it via Twitter. Hashtag Safari Live is how you do it. And uh, we love hearing from all of you, so please send us questions or comments. I'm looking forward to a nice afternoon. Look how that little mongoose looks like it's dozing off a little bit. <laughs> Did you see that? Eyes are closing. Looks a little bit like Senzo dozing in the back. <laughs> Sinak, you say they are so cute and you love the mongoose. Yeah, so do I. I always enjoy seeing these little dwarf mongoose. As I said, the wonderful thing with them is they're probably one of the more relaxed mongoose species. You tend to get quite close to them and view them really nicely. A few weeks ago, I actually got out the car and sat on the ground. And these mongoose came right out. They came right, right out and they sat close to me. Very curious. Now, LD, you asked, sorry, is it, uh, Chantal, just read that again, please. Is it true that the mongoose cannot do what? Oh, LD, you said, is it true that the dwarf mongoose cannot blink their eyes? Let's have a look. I think that is incorrect. I'm sure they can blink. Um, that other one was closing its eyes. So, let's have a look. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Let's have a good look to see if they blink or not. I'm trying to think, I've never watched them that closely to see if they blink or not. <laughs> We're probably going to sit with these mongoose for quite some time. We need to keep an eye on their face. See, so now I don't know. I haven't seen that mongoose blink. Uh, I wonder if they do blink or not. That's an interesting question. So I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I've never observed the mongoose that closely before, but why wouldn't they blink? <laughs> I've never heard that before. And that's the, the great thing about this is you get really interesting questions and things that we've never thought about before. So if any of you have read or heard about the story of mongoose not blinking, let me know, because I am curious now. Sinak, you asked what species of mongoose we have in the area and what is the largest. So Sinak, we've got a number of different species. So we've got uh, the dwarf mongoose, banded mongoose, and I'm saying just in this area, let's just look at this area for now. Dwarf mongoose, banded mongoose, we have slender mongoose, uh, we have, um, well, what are there others? 
I think there's water mongoose in the area, but I've never seen one. But And then we also have the largest species is the white-tailed mongoose. Now, that's the largest mongoose species in Africa, the white-tailed mongoose. They are mainly nocturnal, though, and they are soli- or generally solitary. You might find one or two together, but most of the time at night you'll find a mo- white-tailed mongoose moving around by itself looking for food. But that's the largest species, see, Nick, the white-tailed mongoose. I'm trying to think. I'll, I'll think of other mongoose species. Well, actually, let's just have a look quickly. See if I've forgotten any anyone. But I don't think in this area. The slender. Um, all right. So as I said, okay. We have um, the banded mongoose I mentioned. Um, <clears throat> I've never seen a Mellers mongoose. I think they're a little bit further north of where we are. Um, don't get those here, don't get those here, don't get those here. The slender mongoose I mentioned. Um, as I said, the water mongoose, but I've never seen one, but they apparently do occur in the area. Uh, the dwarf mongoose we know, the white-tailed mongoose we know, and um, actually you get yellow mongoose too up in this area. Occasionally you'll see yellow mongoose, but the yellow mongoose also prefer... Um, prefer slightly drier climates up in the Kalahari we see a lot of them in that north western part of South Africa but we do get yellow mongoose here too but the largest is that white-tailed mongoose oh, the sun's peeking through the clouds now it's really warmed it up quite nicely